Welcome back to the Crochet Crowd as well as my friends over at Yarnspirations.com. Today is the Puff Stitch Round Pillows requested by Pat. Thank you so much for your email and what we're going to be doing today is this particular pattern. So I would like for you to take a little mental note here. Maybe even record it on your pattern if you're going to print it. Let me show you a few things. I would also consider this an intermediate level not an easy level just uh, just to be transparent with you as well. So here's what it looks like and it's got some texture to it. I love the texture on this particular one. That was my appeal to actually do it for Pat is that I really like texture ideas. You're also going to notice that it wants to bowl up and if you think about the front face of the pillow if you look at it remember that the pillow is kind of rounded. So it's been designed in a way that it's not just a, a flat panel itself. It's actually meant to bowl up and once uh, all these stitches hit the back of that pillow it's going to bounce those up even more. I am going to suggest one variation in the pattern as far as uh, where to um, start on the, some sections but once we get beyond that then you'll be off to the races and if you wanna follow the pattern as written then it's great. So the back loops are what's creating these lines. So if you don't want those lines don't use the back loops um, but I think it's actually kind of what makes it appealing when you can kind of see that as well. Again your decision you are the artist. So you'll need a five millimeter size H crochet hook in order to play and you'll need a 16 inch diameter round pillow form. Now it does say to grab some material and then sew it. I don't got time for sewing. <laughs> I'm, I'm kinda lazy. So what I like to do is when I choose my pillows I like to actually buy a pillow that matches the color. So you can buy different ones and sometimes it's cheaper to go to Walmart and actually buy a pre-made pillow and then put a crochet piece over over top of it. I've done that more times than you can imagine. So that's kind of fun and we're gonna get ourselves involved with today and let's begin our journey. Let's start off with the chain. So let's begin by starting a chain and we're gonna create a slip knot. I am gonna classify this as an intermediate level. I said that already but I don't know why I'm saying it twice. So we're going to begin in chain six. So one, two, three, four, five and six. Mm -hmm. Then we're gonna start round number one. Insert your hook into the beginning chain and pull through and therefore you have your, your uh, round circle. Put this straggler so it's around the circle so that it gets stuck up underneath. And in round number one we're gonna chain three which will count as a double crochet and you're gonna add 14 more double crochets to this. So with the chaining of three and the 14 it gives you a total count of 15. So get your 15 done and then I'll meet you back here in just a moment. Once you have your 15 done which includes that chain three just slip stitch to the top of the chain three. Now if you went over top of the straggler like you should have then what you can just do get rid of that right now and just cut it right out. Boop, done. Let's begin round number two. So round number two it says to chain three and then start with the PS which is a puff stitch. I'm going to recommend to you only chain one. I did it uh, with chaining a three and it's really obvious that it doesn't look like it belongs there. So I would just chain one if it were me and I were you and then just jump to the very next stitch on the back loop only because we talked about back loops and we're gonna do a puff stitch. In order to do that we're gonna wrap the hook and going into the back loop only and then pull through and then pull through two and hold it. You wanna do that a total of five times so that there is six loops on the crochet hook. This is where your time is pretty much spent on these uh, particular uh, pillow from what I could tell within my sample that I did. So once you have your six pull through all six and chain one. My friends I spent four hours <laughs> doing the test trial and I couldn't get, get myself to round number seven because what I didn't realize is that this chain one counts as a stitch in the future. So there's you actually have two stitches here. You have the puff and the chain one. Don't forget that because <laughs> it will make your life difficult. Starting in the next back loop in the next double crochet apply two single crochets. Use your finger and pop this out like that. Just pop it out to the front. Okay. Now you're going to in the next is that we are going to then just puff stitch. So just keep adding those. So just yarn over pull through two and keep adding. I almost think it's kind of like a cluster stitch but it's not my version of a puff stitch. That's all I'm saying. This is an older pattern as well. So once you have your six on there pull through all six chain one to lock it. 
use your finger and kind of poke it out towards you and go into the next one and put it in two single crochet. I want you to do this all the way around. There should be a total count of seven of these puff stitches going all the way around that you'll notice. So please do this and this is round number two. When you get all the way back around there's two single crochets in the last one and this is not a stitch. This is just leaning over towards the beginning and I want you to slip stitch it to that chain one. When it was chain three the slip stitch would have been way up here and I found it was really quite obvious. You will notice that there's a bigger gap in the joining area. It's not a deal breaker I don't think. Let's move on to round number three. So in round number three we're gonna chain one and you're going to put two single crochets in the same chain one stitch where you did the join. Here's where I was goofing up that caused me four hours of a living nightmare. <laughs> so remember that the puff stitch is actually a, the stitch and a chain one. Don't forget that. So there's technically two stitches there and then there's two stitches of the single crochet. So starting it in the back loop only. Okay you're gonna go in the back loop and you're just gonna single crochet. So there is the actual puff stitch and then the next one is the chain one. It's kinda tight in there. So if you're having trouble sticking your hook what you can do is use your hook and just kinda pull that second loop. It, usually I can get it in most of the time but sometimes it's a little rough. So just pull your hook and then pull through. Okay. So then your two single crochets are next and then here comes that puff stitch. So just remember that there's two there. So you have the puff stitch itself and then you have that chain one and if you can't get it in just move your hook the other way and do that all the way around. So please do this. This is round number three. So just coming up all the way back around just slip stitch it to the beginning single crochet. So just slip it as regular not to a back loop. You should have a total of 30 stitches going all the way around. So 30 single crochets. Count that make sure and then let's move up to round number four. So let's move on to round number four chain up three which will count as a double crochet and in the next stitch in the back loop only you're going to double crochet. And then in the next one you're gonna put two double crochets into the back loop. And that's gonna be the repeat pattern going all the way around. So just remember two by itself, two together into the same one. So we have one and two by itself and remember going to the back loop so you get those lines and then the next one has two into the same one. So please do that all the way around. This is round number four. And coming up all the way back around you are just following the pattern as you know it. The very last stitch if you're following that sequence should be two double crochets in the back loop only. And then you're just gonna join it to the top of the first chain three. You're going to notice that bowling we talked a little bit about this that it is going on to a pillow face that has that, that curving. So don't worry about that. Let's move on to round number five. In round number five we are it says to chain three and then do a puff stitch in the next. Again just chain one. I think it looks better. So then starting in the very next one you're gonna do a puff stitch in the back loop only. So to do that just remember that you're just collecting until you see six on there. and then pull through everything. Lock it chain one. So technically it's a puff stitch and chain one. So it's two stitches. Don't forget that. And in the next two you're gonna go into the back loops only and apply two single crochets. So one and two in the first one and then one and two into the next. So the repeat then for this round and I'll see you at the end of this round. Um, what we have here is that it's gonna be a puff stitch and then two single crochets in the next two and you'll do that all the way around. This is round number five. So I'm coming all the way back around and the last two have two single crochets in there and just slip stitch it to that chain one where you started. And that will be awesome. So you can see there and now let's move on to round number six. So like before we're gonna chain up one and in that chain one space where we did the join we're gonna put two single crochets in there. So one and two. And then just like I showed you before it's gonna be one single crochet in each of the stitches. It's getting bigger and easier to see where those stitches go and you kinda already learned your lesson on making sure those puff stitches you're getting the chain one as well. So just go as one single crochet in each of the stitches going all the way around and just make sure that you put that two into the beginning one to keep those counts. 
perfect. So do that and I'll see you at the end of round number six. So as I'm coming up all the way around, one thing I wanna show you, when I started my test trial with the last sample, see how this is where I started? Well, when I was doing my sample, I would like literally see this and I'm like, oh, I'm done. Okay, so then I would like slip stitch and start again and only to hit this. So I was not being careful. Like these things that jet out with the puff stitches can appear like it's the end of the round. So just look for any telltale signs of, of stuff like that in order to make it clear. So just continue and I'll see you at the end of this round. Just slip stitch to the beginning, chain one and then we'll move on to round number seven. So I'm just coming up all the way around, coming into my very last one and we're gonna slip stitch to the beginning, single crochet. So round seven and eight are in the regular stitches only. I have those asterisk and I also stated to do that as well. And what we're going to do then in this round is that we're gonna create some spacing. To do that, we're going to chain up three. So one, two, three and put two single crochets in the same one as the join. This is a really easy round once you get it into your head. The trick is, is at the very end there's something special and I'll see you there in, when we get there. So skipping the next two single crochet, go into the third and put in three single crochet. Okay and then skipping the next two and then go to the third three single crochet. So please do this all the way around but make sure that you do catch me on the end of this round because there's something special in order to keep the counting perfect. So when you come all the way back around like this, there's a really weird count here which doesn't make sense but just keep on going anyway. So the very last one you're skipping to and you're going to go into this one here which is very close to here. This is the only way this pattern works. There should be a total of 27 groups of three going all the way around. Okay, so make sure that you do get that. I did verify there was 26 so far. This is the 27th and then you're just gonna slip stitch to the beginning like that. Okay, so it, it just go with it and that's it. So let's move on to round number eight. Round number eight is also working in the regular stitch work. It feels wrong when you go to do this but it's keeping the same amount of count that you have uh, in the last round. So we have 81 uh, double crochets going around in the last round. This one you'll end up with 82 and it will make sense once we get there. So let's begin. We're going to just chain up one and we're gonna single crochet in the same stitch as the join. Okay, so there and then you're gonna reach over to this space here and apply a puff stitch and it feels wrong. It really does. So you're just gonna do that and you're gonna get your six loops on there. Go right into that puff itself. I found this puff because of the way that it's situated. It tends not to come out in front and I think it shows that in the pattern as well. So then you get your six, pull through and I guess the reason for telling you is that is that if you poke your finger out and try to puff it out, it chances are it'll fall back to the other side and that's fine because that's okay, that's okay. You're going to come to the very first double crochet of the next grouping of three. Just kind of shift things out of the way and you're going to single crochet. So this is a counting of three stitches. So we single crocheted, we reached over and puffed, we did our chain one and then we did our single crochet. Does that make sense? Here we go again. So once that singles in you're gonna jump all the way to the space and you're gonna puff. Okay and make sure you get all your steps in there. Pull through. Okay, lock it with the chain one and then just single crochet into the first. You can try to puff that out but chances are it'll stay buried like this which is fine. It, it looks actually pretty good. So continue to do that all the way around. This is round number eight. I'm coming up to the end of round number eight. So I'm just going into this last one and I've already done my single crochet when I started so I'm just going to slip stitch to the single crochet. So you can see that I just let the puff stitches just happen to the back side. That's not a problem. It actually looks pretty good. I've seen designs where the puff stitch is meant to be on the back which really kind of shocks me but then it does give you the texturing uh, ridging that you see. So let's uh, begin round number nine. We're going to start up again in round number nine. We are going to just chain up one and we're going to apply one single crochet in each of the stitches. Don't forget that puff stitch has the chain one as well. So it's technically groups of four. Uh, when you look at it if you were to ever look at it from that point of view. Okay, so just looking at it that way and just do one single crochet in the back loop only. We're back to back loops if you haven't figured that out yet and 
we're just gonna do that all the way around. So this is round number nine. So come all the way back around. I'm just gonna slip stitch and now we're gonna begin round number 10. Round number 10 we already know what we're doing here. So we're gonna chain up three and you're gonna apply one single crochet or sorry one double crochet in the back loop only and number 10 we're still in back loops and now the next one is gonna be two into the same one. So we've already done this before. So just remember in this around it's two by itself and then two into the same. Two by itself, two into the same. Please do this. This is round number 10. And when you come back around the last one is two double crochets into the same one. That's just keeping within the stitch count and then you're just going to join to the beginning chain three. That concludes off round number 10. Round number 11. Let's begin round number 11. You're gonna chain up one. It says to chain three but I think chaining one looks better. You're going to puff stitch in the next one and there's a slight variation on this uh, round. So just do your puff stitch for now and let's get that done. And then once you get your six loops pull through chain one and then in the next two you're gonna just apply one single crochet each. So one and two. The rest of this round after you have this done is that you're gonna puff into the next one. So let's puff Get your six loops, pull through, chain one and now the next three in a row are each going to be a single crochet and you're gonna do that all the way around then. Okay, so then you're gonna puff and then put three, puff and put three and then see me at the end of this round. This is round number 11. So coming up to the end of round number 11, the last three are single crochets in the regular stitches and then just join it with that chaining of one. Now let's move on to round number 12. So we're back on the back loops again but we're gonna start off and we're gonna chain up one. The first one here because it is a, uh, you're in the chain, you're just gonna go in that one. Okay, so starting in the back loops only, just make sure that you are getting those chain ones that are part of that puff stitching and to do that all the way around. So it's just one single crochet in each of the stitches and the chain one uh, spot as you're going all the way around. Please do that and this is round number 12 on the back loops only. Coming up all the way around on round number 12 I've just done my single crochet, single crochet to the, or sorry slip stitch to the beginning and that will conclude off that one there. So let's move on to round number 13. Round number 13 we're gonna chain up three and starting in the next one you're just gonna apply one double crochet. Oh back loops only keep forgetting that. So 13 back loop only and please do that all the way around. So this is round number 13. One double crochet in each back loop around. So let's finish up round number 13 together. Just one double crochet in each and then just join. I'm gonna take you to the set of instructions now for round number 14. 14 looks complicated. I'm not sure it really is but let's take a look at that and see what we're gonna get ourselves involved with for the next one. For round number 14 we have to follow a set of instructions. Chain three which I would substitute with chain one and then we're gonna puff stitch in the next double crochet. We're then going to chain two. So normally we would have a chain one only. So it's chain two and then this bracket is really important. So single crochet in the next double crochet. Skip the next double crochet twice. So that means that we're doing what's in the bracket twice. So single crochet in the next double crochet. Skip the next double crochet. So once you do that twice then you move on. Then the asterisk is here and this is really key. So puff stitch in the next double crochet, chain two and then in the bracket again is what we need to do. So single crochet in the next sing, uh, double crochet, skip the next double crochet three times. So then skip the next double crochet, skip the next double crochet and etc. And so we're doing that three times. Then it says repeat from the asterisk 17 more times. So you go back to this asterisk and you repeat this again and again and again. Eventually you'll come all the way back around and then it says puff stitch in the next double crochet. So this is the very last one and then chain two, single crochet in the next double crochet and skip with the next double crochet. So we just need to take our time and get through this and let's see if we know what we're up to. <laughs> let's begin. Okay, so let's buckle up folks. It's gonna be a rough, we <laughs> it's gonna be a rough round. So let's go. We're gonna chain one and it says in there PS, so puff stitch in the next double crochet. So we're not doing the back loops, we're just doing regular. So let's do a puff Okay, so 
so pull through all three. It then says two, chain two, one, two, single crochet in the next double crochet. So just kind of there. Okay, and that's this is the start of the repeat. Skip the next double crochet twice. Okay, so twice is then skip the next one, single crochet in the next, like that. So now we're gonna begin from the asterisk. So starting in the very next stitch, we're gonna puff stitch. So let's do that. And then you're gonna chain a total of two. So one and two. Now it say, says to do this three times. So single crochet in the next double crochet skip the next double crochet and do that three times. So skip the next one, single crochet, skip the next one, single crochet. Okay, and then it says to repeat from the asterisk th uh, 17 more times. So puff stitch in the next one, and then chain two and then single crochet in the next double crochet. Skip the next stitch. Okay, I'm just looking at the instructions to make sure I understand what I'm doing. Skip the next double crochet, single crochet in the next and then skip the next one and single crochet in the next. Okay, so basically there's three single crochets in between these puff stitches. So you're gonna puff immediately into the next one and then you're going to single crochet right after and then basically skip a stitch, single crochet, skip a stitch, single crochet and then puff stitch. So please do this all the way around. This is round number 14. Take your time and if you have to write any notes, now is a good time to do it. So please do that. I'll see you at the end of this round and when we finish the end of the round, we're just going to just make sure that it's gonna be fine. So let's begin, or so let's finish round number 14. So I'm coming all the way back around. I'm almost near the end. So, and then I have finished this set of repeating. And then it says to um, do a puff stitch in the next stitch. Okay, I got my six there, chain two, and then single crochet in the next one here. And then it says to um, skip the next double crochet and join. So I think I'm off by a stitch. So I'm just going to, I'm okay with that. <laughs> um, it's gonna fold around the pillow anyway, folks. So um, that is gonna be my little thing. So don't tell anybody I did that. So sometimes you gotta do what a crocheter's gotta do. So it looks fine to me. I'm gonna move on and let's get on to round number 15. Totally cheating, I'm sure. So let's uh, move on to 15. So we're gonna chain up one and it says to do two single crochets in the same one as the join. So one and two and then in the back loop only because we're back on that we're gonna do one single crochet in each of the stitches. Remember that puff stitch has two of them. One is the chain one. Actually yeah and then we have uh, the chain stitches. So let me just read the uh, single crochet in each stitch and chain around. So if there is a chaining of two that means that there will be two puff stitches or two in the puff stitch. So let me just check that. So we have one, I'm talking out loud and then another one, that one and then the other one. Yep. So the each one of the chains has something and you're just gonna single crochet in each of them all the way around. So please do that and I'll see you at the end of round number 15. Coming up to the end of round number 15 I'm just going to join it to the very beginning single crochet. And now let's start round number 16. So 16 has a different start and then it has a good repeat that's easy to follow. So we're going to chain up three and two double crochet right into the same stitch. And then we're gonna chain one and then skip the next three. So one, two, three and then do the repeat going all the way around. So it's going to be three double crochets into that same stitch 
and then chain one and only skip two. So we're only skipping three the very first time. We just have an odd count that we just need to deal with, right? So we're just gonna do this all the way around. So please get yourself all the way around. So chain one after it, skip two and then put in three double crochet into the next. Please do this all the way around. Number 16. So let's begin round number 16. My cat's in the background. So one, two, three and in the back loop only you are going to put in two double crochet. So one and two. Then you're going to chain one and then skip over three. So this is the first time you're gonna skip three and then go in the back loop only. Now here's the repeat for the remaining of this round. So chain one, skip only two, one and two, go to the third and back loop only and put in three double crochet. Then chain one, skip two in the back loop only in the third one, put in three double crochet and you're gonna do that all the way around. I'll see you at the end of round number 16. So coming back all the way around, don't forget to chain one after that last one and then just join it to the beginning. So let's move on to round number 17. So let's begin round number 17 working in the back loops only except for these chain one spaces. So we're gonna chain one and we're gonna single crochet in each of these three. I'm gonna simplify it. This is take number two. So we're gonna single crochet the three. So every one of these double crochets are gonna get a single crochet around. In the spaces you're gonna apply a puff. Just a simple little puff for two. I have the movie Sex in the City in my head today. I don't know why. Okay so I got my puff, chain one and immediately come into the next one and in the, the back loop only. Just make room for it and just move it if you have to see it. And if you wanna go in the regular stitch there's no crochet police as far as I know. So you can probably do that too. So puff into the space, single crochet in the back loop in the double crochets. Please do this all the way around. This is round number 17. Let's go. So I'm coming up to the end of number 17. I just finished that chain one. I've already got the single crochets in here. But that's where we started. So that's where we wanna finish. So when we go for round number 18 again in the back loops we're gonna just chain up one. Here's the thing. Remember that the puff stitches are one puff stitch and a chain one. So they count as two stitches. This time you wanna ignore that chain one. So starting in the first one you want a single crochet in the back loops only. So this is the very last round of the panels and then the ruffling is just going on one. So when you get to the puff stitch go into the puff but then skip the single crochet or the chain one and just jump over to the next one. So one, two, three, four and then jump. So jump over the next one and then one, two, three, and then four and then jump over again. Okay, so just do that all the way around. So there's basically it's one in each of the single crochets and then one into the puff stitch and skip the chain one. I'll see you at the end of this round. So you're just going to join once you're back around to the first single crochet. Now ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we have completed this face. Now I'm not much into the frills. So if it were me and I were you, I would stop here, do the second one and then just whip stitch using the back loop only. So just uh, whipping around. We have videos on whip stitching um, if you would like to do that. But it is a tutorial so I will show you how to do the ruffled edging. Now the ruffled edging is only applied to one of them. So when you go to be able to sew this to the one with the ruffle you just gotta pay attention to the same round. It's gonna be very easy to tell anyway. So we're gonna carry on with the ruffled edging and we're gonna work on only one and so you'll get one completely done and then the other one will have a ruffle. So you have to do it at one point either the front or either this one or the next one. It doesn't really matter. Just make sure you only do one. So let's begin. So if you're going to carry on to do the ruffle one of them has to can carry on. So let's be this one. Working in the back loops again we're gonna chain six. So one, two, three, four, five and six. Skip the next two, one, two and single crochet in the third one in the back loop only. Now this is the repeat for the remaining of this one here. Okay so let's do that. So we're gonna single crochet there, da, 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 chain five. So we're gonna chain five. So one, two, three, four, five. Skip the next two, one, two and then go into the next one. Okay, so it's now gonna be chaining five. So one, two, three, four, five and then skipping two and go into the next. So there's gonna be quite a bit of ruffling going on and that's what you're gonna do all the way around. I'll see you at the end of this round.
round number one of the ruffle. Okay, once you're coming all the way back around you want to join it to the very beginning and then slip stitch. Let's move on to round number two of the ruffled edge. Okay, so let's move on to round number two. It's the final round of your pillow. Okay, so it's nice and easy. What I would do if I were you and you were me, it doesn't say to do this, but I can't see why you wouldn't do it. So let's just fake it and let's go with it. I want you to slip stitch to the middle of this chain here. Remember it was a chaining of six. So it's about the third one in. And if you start there, you might have yourself a really better edge. So let's just single crochet into that there. Therefore you'll be right in the middle of the ruffle. You're going to chain six. So one, two, three, four, five, six and then go to the next ruffle and single crochet. How many are you gonna chain to get to the next ruffle? Six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Go to the next ruffle single and do that all the way around and this will conclude then round number two and the finishing off. So it's actually not bad. Only two rounds. It looked like there was a lot more in the pattern. So to continue that and I'll see you at the end of round number two and we'll just quickly talk about assembling this thing. So I'm just coming up to the end. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Jump it over to where you had done the slip stitch. Bada boom, bada bing, you're done. So let's just uh, quickly review on how to fasten this off and we're just going to trim your yarn and grab that uh, sturdy needle of yours. You are going to use that needle to be able to slip or to whip stitch all the way around. You're not gonna wanna whip stitch the ruffle so keep your, uh, your uh, needle out of that. So passing through just like you see here go once and when you pull on it don't change the shape. So just make it taut and then go back in another path that's number two and third time is a charm. So you wanna go third time. Once you have that done, look at that, yeah. So what you wanna do is that you wanna do your other side if you haven't done already. So do your other side and then this is obviously, see those bumps? Let me just back you out right now. So see those bumps? Those are the outside if that's not already obvious for you. <laughs> so if this is the one side, make sure you do turn it over and the other one will be the bumps up so that the bumps are facing back and forth. And all you're just gonna do, now this one is a different size because this is my practice sample to make sure that I got it right. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna take where the ruffle was and you're just gonna match it. And it's called whip stitching. So you're gonna grab enough yarn to get your butt all the way, oh, your um, needle all the way around. And what you have to do at this point is that when you do it to do this, I would go in the back loop of one and the back loop of the other. And so just drag the yarn and just keep collecting as you go. If your stitch count is right, it should match. If it's wrong, don't tell anybody, just fake it because if they are, are judging your creativity, they have way too much time in their hands. So you wanna go all the way around, whip stitch it and just zip it back and forth. So it's a really neat idea. It's a kind of a fun pillow. So this was requested by Pat. This is the Puff Stitch Round Pillow for Lunch and Learn for Yarn Inspirations. We hope that you enjoy it and it's actually not a bad idea. I love texture. It keeps me interested and uh, if I don't have to do puff stitches for a while, <laughs> I know that's it for today. Have a great one. We'll hope to see you again real soon right here. Bye-bye.